you get this sense that they're definitely checking you out. They're checking me out, and I have to submit to it. But they're trying to see if I am, well, maybe food. But With only a few hours of daylight left, I plan to scout the area and try to get my head around the immensity of my challenge. But almost as soon as I see them, they're gone. Gosh. Incredible fish. This monster is a catfish. All set. It's now just a waiting game. Uh, the worst case scenario is I am here for the next 10 or 12 hours and nothing happens. On the other hand, something could happen at any moment. Look at that crack there. Do you know what, what I can do? I can shove this pole in that crack. Oh. Here we go. Ah. Ah. That's off. I think in a way I might have been lucky just to keep it on that long. Well, the suspect list I've managed to assemble so far contains some pretty impressive beasts, but somehow I don't think there's a particularly compelling case for any one of them. For a long time, nothing happens. Oh, there you go. Then finally, a take. And this time, it's big. Yeah, this is a heavy fish. Mm. 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 Easter folklore. And if you caught a glimpse of something this size, color, and shape appearing on the edge of your vision, your mind could fill in the gaps. A minute later, it's back for more. This time, we need to fire a warning shot. I am gonna fire away. Oh. He's getting too pushy. Oh, no. You guys, plug your ears. Just deep breaths, just calm down. It's all, all part of the, uh, the day in the life of a fisherman in this part of the world. Fifty-two inches. Fourteen and a half inches girth. This close. The water is clear. And there's plenty of vegetation. Perfect hunting ground for an ambush predator. Two hours. Two hours. It's a different phase of the fight now. It was tearing around, you know, using speed in the early stages. There it is again, there it is again. There it is again. Yeah, there's definitely some tactics going on. The speed didn't work. So now just uh, a bit of a war of attrition. Ah, this is punishment. Wait, I'm going to come over there. I need to come there. I need to come there. Oh, 
Oh, it's the rocks. I thought it was his dad or something come out to uh, sort me out. I brace myself for the jaws. And then... Nothing. I'm casting into a pool 500 feet wide and said to be 300 feet deep. Finally, I can feel the raw power of this predator running directly through my hands. And the other thing that's actually interesting here is there's no teeth in there. There's not even anything approaching a sort of one of these raspy pads in there. Although this does grow very big, I mean, well over 600 pounds, it's not really a predator. This I can imagine a scenario where just that desire to go too much out into the current could spell trouble. I don't know. I think I need to uh, just get my breath back and get my pulse down a little bit. The picture's coming through okay, but the water visibility is poor. That goes in quite a way. It's hard to tell what is down there. Now we just have to sit tight and wait for the feast to begin. I submerge again. This time I go head first into the hole which just keeps on going and going. When I'm in it as far as my thighs, something bites me. Behind its harmless appearance, this pint-sized animal packs some vicious weaponry. This is not a fish to be trifled with. When the monk reveals the beast, I recognize it as something I've tangled with before. 